Hello everyone and welcome back to another an amazing chess game from 1989. And in this chess game we have Alexei Shiro with the white pieces and his opponent is Marcus Stengel. This is also a very nice attacking chess game which is a must see. Let's see what happened in this chess game. So Alexei Shiro starts the game with pushing to the pawn. We have g6, e4, d6, knight to c3, bishop to g7, f4, and this looks like the Austrian attack. c6, knight to f3, bishop to g4, bishop to e3, queen to b6. Shiro is welcoming his opponent to capture the b pawn, not capturing. Capturing the b-pawn is not a good move because of rook to b1, defending and then capturing the pawn and white is okay. So knight to f6, bishop to e2, d5, e5 by Alexei Shirov charging the center, knight goes back and Shirov castled from the queen side. Extremely aggressive. Queen to a5, knight to g5, exchanging the bishops and giving the boot to the knight. Black says, go away, kicking the knight back. Did you know that Alexei Shirov was the admirer of Mikhail Tal? He grew up with studying the chess games of Mikhail Tal. He was a huge fan of Mikhail Tal and he ended up playing just like Mikhail Tal. Knight takes on f7 by Alexei Shirov. A knight sacrifice out of nowhere. At move 13. What a shot by Shirov. So, in this position, what else? Capturing the knight, otherwise black is losing. Then pushing the pawn, f5. Also, e6 is a possibility, forking the king and the knight. So, capturing the pawn, undermining and checking the king. And attacking the f-pawn, black is defending. e6, g4 by Shirov, undermining and planning to open up the position in the king side, open up the file for the rooks and then attacking the king. Queen goes back, capturing the pawn, capturing back and targeting the king, rook from h to g1, not capturing the pawn with the queen or with the rook, but placing the rook in the open file, targeting the king, harassing the king. Queen to e7, extra defense. So look at this position, Shirov is a piece down, but it looks like black is also at least two pieces down, the knight is not doing anything, the rooks are not connected, the king is stuck, the rook is boxed in. So this is brilliant by Alexei Shirov, the art of the attack. Well, after queen to e7, what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? This is also one of the critical moments of this chess game. Maybe capturing the pawn comes to mind. Well, in this position, Alexei Shirov kept his eyes on the price. And he captured the bishop, who rook takes on g7, another vicious sacrifice by Alexei Shirov out of nowhere. King takes on g7, but in this position, if queen takes on g7, this is not a good move at all. Because of rook to g1, and this is pinning and winning. And black is losing, so this is uh, winning the queen and the chess game. So in this position, rook takes on g7, what else? Black has to accept the sacrifice with the king and then checking the king. King goes back, the only move, the only sensible move. And then bishop takes on h6, that's check, and where is the king going? The queen and the rook is occupying the escape squares. There is no escape. You can only interpose with the queen or capture the bishop. So if blocking with the queen, capturing the queen with check, uh, capturing the queen with check. So rook takes on h6, queen takes on h6, check, king to e8, and rook to g7. Attacking, defending queen to b4, and a3. And that's all she wrote, black simply resigned. Because if defending the queen like this, then checking the king, and basically black is getting checkmated, there is no defense. And in this position, if queen goes back, uh, 
in this position f3 a3 if queen goes back for the defense then checking the king and this is all over for black because this is the only sensible move king to d8 and then rook to g8 and this is all over for black what an incredible amazing attacking chess game by alexi shirov and thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time take care and bye bye